Welcome to yourstory.com. Most of us are wondering when do cinemas return because we are fed up of sitting at home. We want to go enjoy with our families, our friends, you know, movies made our lives. Uh, you know, to talk about that, uh, we have uh, Ashish Saxena from uh, Book My Show, who's also the CEO of that company. How are you, sir? I'm very good. Thank you for having me here, Vishal. So it's been an unprecedented uh, crisis for all of us. We all know that, but we're all hoping to see when do movies return. When do you think that will happen? I think it would start from 15th of October. The, uh, the date that uh, government has given, I think a lot of states are already uh, agreeing to op let the cinemas open from that date. So I would imagine 65, 70% of the states should open from 15th. And the others who take some time will gradually open. I think I would imagine in, from 1st of November or first week of November, most of the states should be open by that time. Okay. And this new experience will be very different. I always love book my show because it is contactless. You book it on the phone, just go show the mobile app there and everybody lets you in. It was a seamless experience. I hope, um, you know, cinema halls understand that that's the future. So what would be the new experience for them and how are you interacting with these guys? So cinema halls are very, very excited. Of course, a little bit helped by the government mandate itself. But what it also meant is that there's a lot of hard work involved at our level as well, because we need to follow the new guidelines that have come in. I mean, those guidelines are for cinemas, but they do have a bearing on how we sell tickets as well. So it's been, uh, it's been a continuous process. We also understand that this will, this will be a very, very important feature going forward for ensuring contactless uh, viewing of movies. And when you say contactless, uh, do the cinema owners understand it? Uh, for, uh, to our audience, uh, do you see uh, people sitting away from each other like they do in restaurants? Will that be the experience that we have to get used to? I think you'll have to get used to that. And what has <laughs> happened, there are a couple of things that have happened. Uh, you, know, the, uh, you know, seat distancing is very easy to say that, you know, we will have seat distancing. It was almost expected that it will happen when the guidelines come. The question to us was, what kind of seat distancing? Because there are two or three different models of seat distancing which were prevalent. So right now, as you know, that it's a chessboard fashion, you know, a seat, every alternate seat is kept uh, blank. But there were other options as well, like transaction-wise seat distancing or a couple of more options which were prevalent in other countries. So we actually, in this time, worked on all the two, three options that there are, not knowing which one will probably open with, because we knew that it would always open with a very, very uh, short uh, notice, really. So we have worked very, very hard. We've got this ready and the cinemas are, uh, you know, when they, when they open, it's not that they have got a guideline and then we'll start working on it in the back end. It will not be like that. And so it's a, it's a very important factor. The cinemas realize it, that it's important for them to do. But we are completely complementing whatever is expected of the cinema so that there is no let up or delay on our part from selling tickets online. Okay. So what will be Book My Show's role uh, to ensure consumer safety uh, because you said you're working with them, some more insight in terms of there won't be long lines anymore. I'm sure they'll all say book online. That's the first step. Uh, what other things could change? The moment I enter the cinema hall, what will change? See, there are, uh, so I'll start from what's happening when you book the ticket online. Yes. Uh, we'll start from that process because that will uh, complete the cycle. So once you come and you know decide to watch a movie, there is a, a my safety first option, which has been created on the on the uh, website and app, which you will see, which will tell you what are the exact measures that are being taken uh, by any, any cinema and what is it uh, that customer can expect. I mean, it's also a guide for him to choose whether he wants to go there or some other cinema. We are also giving an opportunity by creating some new avenues for cinemas to push their pictures and videos on, you know, if they want to say something more or they want to add certain more value to why a customer should pick that cinema up. So it's a very significant feature in that sense. Once you go and book your ticket, of course, you have the seat distancing option available. You, you block your ticket. You can book your FNB. And the FNB is also, uh, there are two restrictions now. FNB is going to be prepackaged. And you know, there are restrictions which cinemas are working on. So of course, whatever is decided by the cinemas will be made available. But there are a lot of cinemas where we have already tied up and spoken to for giving an express uh, collection of uh, these food items so that, you know, you don't crowd a, crowd a counter and there's a dedicated counter from where you can go and pick it up. That has been an effort which has happened in the last three to four months and it's an ongoing effort, of course. Okay. So that, uh, because of course, FNB is a big, big part. 
once you reach the cinema of course if you have a if you have already booked your ticket there is a staggered entry and exit process so that there is no crowding their show times will be uh, you know expanded to that extent intervals will be longer and uh, exits will happen only then entry will start so it's a very very uh, uh, full time process that will happen if you do choose to buy a ticket at these cinemas there are digital options available in fact there are a lot of cinemas where we have given a, a book my show pass which allows you to book ticket uh, uh, at the spot on the on the spot it's not an online ticket but it gives you a qr code and you can scan it and enter and uh, watch it there is the restriction on contact tracing because phone numbers have to be captured which is happening in our case but it is also happening in the bms pass case and which cinemas are also doing once you're inside there are there are announcements that you can expect you know that because you need to wear the mask uh, while you are watching the film so that is also a, a something which is which is going to be pushed by the uh, by the cinemas as well there is a mandate that it should be done on a pa system so it's a very elaborate process i mean it's a sop is extremely elaborate we are uh, wherever we are we can make and make a difference to or we can complement the cinema we are doing that so it's a new experience but we are fully ready to do that now It, it's it's great if you can also look at uh, let's look at families. So families will be sitting apart from each other. Little children coming in. We can bring little children also to movies. Is that possible? Because most of the parents will ask that question. Right? Yeah, it, it is possible. But I think the seat distancing has to be still maintained. It's, it's it's you have to keep that. I mean that's the responsibility of the cinema that it has to be ensured because that's a very very strong mandate really. Right. And the other thing is these multiplexes, right? Uh, they're chains, national chains. When you talk about an SOP. I book my shows SOP. They should implement that throughout the chain across the country. Right. Uh, are are these chains working with you closely at this point? Very very closely because, as as you yourself said, that you know online ticketing is a significant part of uh, movie watching experience, and we've we've in fact developed that with them because you know otherwise on its own it's very very difficult to do something or say you know we are trying something new without having a support or recognition. You can we can do hundred things on book my show unless it is. supported at the cinema so it's a it's a complete plan to answer your second question is not just restricted to bigger chains and cinema it's it's been this uh, option will be available for every cinema i mean we work very very hard to ensure that every cinema gets covered by this uh, safety note that that there is so that you can uh, to take a very very conscious call of where you want to go and watch a film so it's not restricted to big cinemas large city Our effort has been that it, it should cover all the cinemas that there are on Book My Show. Okay, the last six months, a lot of cinema owners. We know, apart from the multiplexes and chains, India is a land of single cinema owners. Uh, how have they handled the situation? Uh, what's going on? Do you see a recovery for them? You know, we they're like your Kirana small mom and pop shops that we all got used to as we grew up, right? How are these uh, people coping? And I myself have used your services in smaller towns like Kolar. But they have these old fifty-year-old yeah. theaters. It was great to see them move on to book my show, and it makes it easier to actually catch a movie or first day first show wherever you're traveling as a reporter, right? Yes. Yeah, sure. So, I mean, what what are these uh, small town guys talking to you about? How are they recovering? See, it's been a challenging period. There is, there's no doubt about that, and there there have been struggles, and you know, there have a uh, loss of jobs and lot of you know uncertainty about the future. It's not just also about uh, you know states giving a go ahead to open. there are a lot of cinemas which work on different types of uh, movie rentals so they would like a very sustained flow of movies to start so it's a tough situation i mean there is no no hiding behind that fact that it's a tough situation it has been a tough situation it will be a tough situation till the time movie flow really starts and uh, the good thing is the two good things or silver lining that there is that there is it's opened up and it's opened up with a 50% restriction uh, which is uh, which was better than what you know, what was being anticipated earlier and uh, i think once delhi and bombay start uh, opening up because delhi has already announced 15 bombay should take a call in couple of days hopefully that's what we've been hearing once they open up then the content flow would start because there are a lot of movies which are waiting in the wings and they have waited all this while i mean for long to come up and not just in hindi or english even regional films have you know they've been just waiting to get released uh, all over the place so i think the time is good it's not that it will start from 15th of uh, october right away but i think it's a bit of a that situation where you have to wait but once the movie flow starts i think it will be good but till the time it starts i think it will be a bit of a challenge uh, for okay. everyone 
are you are you talking to the cinema makers too they also come and sit with you and say what is the future do they discuss, are they having these discussions with you also yeah our restrictions our discussions with them are limited to you know how do we do the marketing plan when the movie start because that's that's very very critical because we sit on a very very huge amount of data and uh, you know and it's not that you have unlimited money to you know promote a film everywhere you and what helps them now in this particular situation is not everything may not open at one time so you know in what states uh, what works better that kind of a quality or that kind of a cut is very very easily available from book my shows point of view because these online ticketing has is at least giving you that option of deciding which way the market should move so our discussions are to that extent of course we have no, very limited or no say on uh, as far as release dates are concerned but these discussions have been going on even before this announcement came in and you see that i mean once the movies start coming in and they know which way to go what to do which cities to push which cities to target it's a very very specific so there's a significant change because of this yes. restriction you can target cities better yes uh, how did book my show itself handle the last 6 months uh, sir i mean i know we i used to only use book my show for me it yeah. became the platform to go to uh, but last 6 months even my life has been quiet <laughs> and and so it's a tough time for everyone but how did you guys handle the last 6 so it's been a challenge i mean there's no no doubt about saying that what we did was we tried to uh, as i said we worked uh, very very hard on anticipating what would happen once the lockdown ends because there was a lot of effort i mean it was effort in the sense of not just developing the platform for seat distancing and you know uh, pictorial representation of what happens at the cinemas but we also uh, did experiment started as an experiment by streaming a uh, lot of events and uh, uh, you'll be surprised that the this was started pretty much within a day or two of the lockdown happening that we started in a uh, immediately because we had a, a relationship we could curate content and that helped us out initially of course we were not charging it was a, a free service because we wanted people to remain engaged but you'll be happy to know that things have changed very very well uh, in the in the last few months and in fact now 70% of these stream events are ticketed uh, at this point of time so it was a good experiment it happened only because there was a lockdown and we thought that we should try with something else yeah what I, what it has helped us with is that when tomorrow event start and you know you know out of home experience starts this will still continue to remain a very very significant part of uh, our service to the audience so because streaming has picked up steam we've been able to lock up lot of talent that there is we've been able to curate individual events so all that okay. actually uh you know grew from one step step to step and now it's reached a certain certain traction so this was as far as events is concerned as far as movies is concerned as i said our effort was more on developing the back end really uh, uh-huh. because but we continued to sign cinemas we we added a few screens because we knew that digital would become important and that was our uh, reach to the cinemas as well lot of screens you know got onboarded at that point of time we also okay. looked at our uh, movie software that we that we have you know a lot of updation in fact a lot of work has suddenly come because everything was shut for such a long time yes that you know repair and maintenance and your you know uh, the systems working properly and we we monitor a lot of these ticketing softwares that that are in the country so all that has come so we've done a lot of that work uh, in this thing it's been a busy time not okay. very revenue not revenue wise it's been a very very busy yeah so um, i mean i have covered retail for the longest of time how much of the ticket buying is digital in our country today I'll, I'll, there is a follow up question to that i'll ask you why but okay. how much of it is see very difficult to answer that question in the sense that because you know it would depend from city to city as well as uh, cinema to cinema because you know some multiplexes would obviously come under higher one we'll send okay. you that detail vishal i think yeah we'll... that be lovely that be lovely i also want to spend more time with you on that there's a other the, the other thing i wanted to ask you is this is a time when cinema owners can come to you who have never gone digital and say can book my show help me go digital Yeah. and you can help them go digital within a month i'm sure uh, maybe faster uh, okay i mean the so how do they contact you what is the process how does that work process is that we reach out or they reach out i mean it it, yes. it works both ways you know if we if we are there in a city and we, you know so we the normal process is that if we are if we have some cinema then we have a visit and we if there's some cinema which is not there or has it just come in make a cold call and we do that the process of bringing them on board is is slightly elaborate because we have a very detailed onboarding process 
because you know it's not because we need internet connectivity right through we need certain basics that have to go there what what has helped us in these last few months is that people have realized that they'll have to go this route and the internet connectivity has improved in the last uh, few months we've noticed i mean they have been uh, we have all been working from home and it's been it's been fine and easy for us to say that take this for granted in a big city but in a smaller towns this has significantly improved uh, and what has happened is this has told them to come on uh, you know reach reached out to us or we reached out to them so our process is very very severe uh, onboarding process because it's a 30 35 uh, point questionnaire that that needs to be filled up and to understand seat layouts what are the requirements you know where you know how many shows what is the competition but i think this was a good time for us to uh, take that thing you know with a single okay. focus mind and so we got quite a few screens on board i mean they realized that it would be a good time to uh, go the digital okay. and okay changing consumer behavior how important is it for book my show, show to catch on to that consumer behavior that's changing i think the thing was that we need to estimate or anticipate what is going to change now we did that i mean as i said we had we worked on three four different models of seat distancing just to not fall short of what would finally come because we knew time will be very very short i think the main challenge is till the time movies start i mean once the movies start i would imagine the business would pick up start picking up the way it used to be because india is a very heavily uh, yes. theatrical going market that there is but it was it is important for us to anticipate as i said uh, you know streaming was something which was a new initiative which we would probably not have prioritized maybe we were thinking yes. of it maybe we would not have prioritized that so i think uh, we'll have to be one step ahead uh, all the time and we'll we are also as keen to know how you know people start watching it what are the trends that happen what do they change so we have a very significant team that's only working towards this plus we travel i mean our team travels extensively we visit cinemas it's not that we've signed somebody online i mean there are visits regular visits that happen there are new things that come out new understanding that happens i think it's a mix of lot of those things it's a very small things not not entirely technical some of this is very very person person driven and personality driven but all these things help us remain in touch i think we reason for our success of bms has been that we have been able to anticipate or hopefully change the audience behavior it would be an ongoing exercise and this would be a good okay. challenge for us okay this is just for the youngsters right who all who are raring to go for the movies and uh, they want to go attend shows with their families friends you know you know a lot of the ott players are now trying to get movies to directly launch on the platform yeah. right but there is a whole bunch of fans who are saying that look we don't want to watch it on small screens it's the big screen that matters right is there a case that for the first time i think the entire industry should co- collaborate including the ott guys by making it inclusive saying that hey we will we will do an extended trailer with us maybe you go get a discount to book my show watch it on a larger screen and one week later you get it free on on the ott player platform what, what how do you see this ecosystem evolving together i unfortunately don't have a very good answer to that because the fair point. or the point is that ott players have a different business model and uh, exhibitors will have a very very different business model and ott players you know whatever movies have gone so it's not that movies have only gone now to the uh, uh, you know to the ott players they've always been going I mean, it's just that what movies go or how frequently do, that could be a question yeah. mark but the movies have always released only on ott as well but i think i understand your question is whether they co they can coexist at least for initial yes uh, few weeks or months yes. uh we shall we'd love it to i mean if it happens but the fact is that it may not be so simple because i think uh, ott players have a certain uh, commercial discussions yeah. with the producers which would mean that it is shown exclusively i think it would be a very complex system i don't know whether cinemas will agree is the first question whether ott players will agree Absolutely. to share this space because they have paid a certain hopefully paid a certain yeah. premium to the producers so that's yeah. the reason they have gone so good to have but i don't think <laughs> that will that's happen. a very good answer sir but i would recommend all you youngsters wait for a few more days your cinemas are going to open yeah. get back on to book my show you know book your tickets go with your families but do get used to a few uh, a few feet away from each other right of it, so but you can enjoy your fmb too so the whole experience is changing the final advice to younger people when they come to a movie what 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 can they expect in terms of a wow factor with the new experience i think uh, all the safety measures as we see is will be seamless and seamless and i Great. hope visible as well i mean it's a part of life we've all 
lift or it's not that it's in your face that you know somebody is telling a lot of things you ultimately end up doing yourself i mean when you step out you do wear a mask and go so it could take you a little longer but i think uh, to get into a movie but i think the experience the kind of movies that are waiting in the waiting to release now hollywood movies are you know all big ones are likely to release as soon as there is some clarity on opening date i don't think anything will change Vishal. i think it would be yes it could uh, because i think it's it's movies are ingrained in our blood and i mean they are there i mean you know we find ways to watch movies we found ways yeah. to watch movies while at home and i'm sure everybody's this is a new experience people are making bigger films uh, cinemas mm-hmm. are going with the latest of technology i think it would be not in your face it will be pretty seamless and yeah. pretty invisible I would you recommend cinema would you recommend cinema owners to come discuss with you about the pricing because most of the owners will then write to me saying sir what about the pricing vishal should we increase it can you re- recommend ashish to talk about that should they work with you on the pricing part also uh, we'd love to work with them unfortunately it's a it's a call that cinema stake pricing is their call entirely we'd love to do we have a lot of data to support what yes, we say absolutely. and what we do what kind of movies work what kind in what cities we could be very very specific i mean not just state wise but even city wise or cinema specific right. as well we'd love to have that conversation uh, uh, and we think we can definitely add value there so if your cinema owners are watching and you're worried about the pricing call ashish's team they'll help you with it they have a lot of data data is the future guys so get used to that so guys cinemas are opening and uh, we have mr ashish telling us that we'll have a new experience and we're going to enjoy it so look forward to that ashish you've been wonderful thank you very much and we'll get in touch soon sir Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much.